um, I'm not doing a journal page I'm going to do a complete collage very different to probably what some of you have seen before where it's kind of like a jigsaw puzzle where I um, cut the pieces out big on mass and hang on I think you might be a little bit crooked on mass and um, and then apply them and then decorate over so it's just another way of doing it there is a story behind this giraffe I will put that in the intro um, so she's just on brown paper just ordinary packing paper because that's not what just, that's just the base that I want to create the collage on I've traced over her okay and what I've done is I've decided by looking at my inspiration picture how I want the pieces to go so it very much looks like a finished jigsaw puzzle at the moment and to you it probably doesn't make a lot of sense just checking that you can see I'm just gonna bring you a little bit closer sorry about that I don't know if you can there we go right so if I can get in a bit closer okay so I mean for this area here that would be yellow brown grey okay um, these are the pieces that I'm going to be using so uh, they're all different this is a different type of tissue paper to this this one's quite fibrous this one this textured paper and for the grey I'm going to use newsprint okay if you've read the introduction you know that this giraffe is very very much in the news a long long time ago hundreds of years ago so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to talk over or do a blog with this I'm going to speed up the process um, and then what I will do is I will put captions below so you can see what what's happening okay um, and then when I apply de the detail then um, I will obviously try and blog over that trying to make this as short as I can um, and plus sorry about this folks but while I'm doing this I have just found an any of um, DVD on my computer and it's copyright so I can't actually play it and I just feel like this morning uh, it's quite chilly out, it's quite cool, it's quite nice and I think I just like to chill out, listen to Enya and do this process, film it for you to enjoy and uh, I'll see you in a while. Bye bye folks.
Hi guys, I'm back with my giraffe. Um, as you can see, I've stuck her on a large piece of paper and I've also chosen a background. Let me just move my cup of tea. <laughs> which has like writing on it that looks like um, writing that you would have had back in 1800 and something, I can't remember when. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna, just going to cut this sheet of paper down now so it's easier for me to work on and I'll see you in a minute. Right, I'm going to zoom you out and take you up a little bit so that I can get her in because she is so big now. Hoping you can get, I can get her all in. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that. Um, hang on, she says she's forgotten to tighten it up. I'm just going to check her. I have to be really careful when I tighten this up because I've got a prick stick um, keeping the camera level jammed in between the arm of the... Um... Right, hope you can see her now. There she is in all her glory and I think I can zoom in a bit more. There you go. Okay, there she is. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my uniball pen and I'm just going to go take out some of the white that's on her nostrils. If I can, if it'll let me. Um, the glue is quite strong, and it's the uniball pen won't always go over it. So bear with me. Um, right, classic mistake. Um, if you are going to use this technique. I would say turn your templates, turn the paper over from your templates and draw them so that when you turn it over to stick it down you won't be doing what I'm doing now. <laughs> but as this is only the first time I've ever done this, I'm not going to beat myself up over it, I'm going to actually not worry about it. It's what it is. I am pleased that the technique has turned out okay. And one of the things that I like to do in my art is I like to do things that I am interested in. I don't like I'm going to go over these as well because I think I quite like that idea of having a black line around it. Um, one of the things that I like to do in my art is I like to please myself first. I don't do art um, to think about the selling purposes of it. It's That's not what it is for me. I... Um, I do do commissions, um, work with clients, but my own work, I think about a subject or a book that I'm reading and then I tend to work from that. Like when I first found out about this giraffe, it was intriguing and I wanted to um, do this piece of work for a long time. I um, thought about different ways of doing her, I thought about doing her in acrylics, 
mixed media. But sometimes you have to put things on the back boiler because something will come through the chain of the golden chain of imagination which will be more fruitful in the end than what you first decided to do and when I was reading the book and thinking about the year that she made her epic journey the year in design um, because design is very much led by fashion what's but it works both ways sometimes it's fashion led trend led um and i thought well i'm going to i'm doing this in retro spec of her so what would be popular at the time she would have made a journey and actually that was quite um, a revelation for me because um, I, I'm saying I'm a lot, I'm really really sorry it was a revelation for me because one of the things that I really love is marquetry in woodwork and it takes a long time and believe you me some of the woods are so so expensive you know a piece of rosewood tiny tiny block of rosewood now because it's a hardwood well it would be almost impossible to to get you can get it in a veneer I think but we are talking a lot of money when these were made the hardwoods obviously were not endangered so the you know they were readily available uh, there are um, substitute woods that can be used these days that, that are more planet friendly but um, I'm not saying that I probably couldn't do this technique because I have in my many lives which we all have many lives I have worked as a resistive material teacher and designer, product design. So there are other things available and um, I probably would be able to in my spare time with the tools actually make her for real out of wood. But that's not what I, not what this is about. Um, besides, I don't think I'd get the newspapers which is what I wanted so I decided to use this technique and share it with you you all have I'm sure bits of paper lying around um, that you could probably find a subject that appeals to you and using this technique if there's any questions you need or you feel that you want to ask about this technique please 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 comment below down below and I will try my very very best to answer the questions I can't say I'm an expert I can only talk about this technique that I've done um, but do 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 feel free uh, and as I always say to my students there is no wrong answer. There's no wrong question. It might not be relevant to what you're doing now, but hey ho, it may well be very relevant to the future. So please, don't be scared to ask. If I don't know the answer, I will do my best to find out the answer and I will get back to you. Or I will do another technique using maybe different paper if you're interested uh, 
I'm going to tell you why I used the newspapers in the lighter areas. Um, she would have been in the news a lot, making her adventure. So what I decided to do was to, again, to think about how to do this. I thought, because she's in the news, how can I make it relevant that this giraffe was important of her time? The light, so I decided that the lighter areas I would use would be a newspaper. Because I thought that was quite apt. And the darker pieces is when the news dies away, not so current, and it fades into the background for the new news of her adventures coming more to the forefront. So again, when you're using your materials, think about what the materials are saying. Be mindful, be, I mean, it, obviously if you're doing a rose or a flower, unless it's a rose that's just been renamed or is current, then, you know, it doesn't really matter what you're doing. But say you're doing an endangered species and there's been a breakthrough, then... Um, actually, it's just give me an idea to do another one. Oh, <laughs> um, you know, use newspaper. I mean, you say you wanted to do one for a present, say for this is just an example for a um, husband or boyfriend that's into fishing or football and you wanted to do a footballer then or, or a fish fish would be good you could put down maybe a piece from a newspaper that they may have been in or recording of the biggest um, carp ever landed a football team making it into a different division if you were doing something for your mum or sister, maybe you could find a poem that you could um, cut up and use as part of the um, collage and then maybe print the poem on the back so that they have a recollect recollection of it or know what it is, what you're saying. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy. She's really large to work on. It is a very, very relaxing way to spend a morning, afternoon, evening. There's no reason for you to rush at it. You can take as long as you want. I'm just adding these bits. I don't think it does even for it to be honest, but hey ho, I've started now. Um, you don't need to rush at it. You don't have to think about it being perfect. That's not what it's about. It's about a process, learning a process. And this is the bit I always love. When she comes to life. Okay, just a simple, two simple dots. makes this girl come to life. Okay, so that's that's her. Um, 
it's a lovely technique as I said it's a lovely way to spend an afternoon the prep is a little bit um, can, can be a little bit difficult it doesn't necessarily have to be it just takes a little bit of thought um, like I say one of the things that I've learned on this is maybe to when I draw out the elements When I draw out the elements here, um, flick them over, draw around them so that the marks from the pencils are on the other side. So when you flick them over you haven't got them. If you're not bothered, that's fine. I'm not bothered at this moment, it's my first attempt. So I'm going to see if the frame will fit. So you can see a uh, framed up. I don't know if I've got enough room on my cluttered, you know, you, you wouldn't believe how cluttered my space is. Right, so, can you see that? Oh, I'm going to take you up a little bit further so you can see, excuse me if you feel sick. Still don't think you're going to be able to see her. Right, I'm going to take you off. Right, guys. I hope you can see this. What she looks like framed up. Okay, and I'm going to take you in for a closer look. As you can see, the writing there, old news, fading away into the distance new news being updated daily I would have imagined on her epic epic journey anyway as I say do do please if you have not so not done so so far please subscribe like comment okay so it's goodbye from me it's goodbye from her Bye-bye, folks. See you soon.